Let me run this back to my barn. And I'm, yeah, I'm not, but I got too much. I look around at these other things, and I think next time I do one of those, I'm going to commission a chalk artist to do it for me.
but I will not hesitate to point out the hypocrisy of an organization that sells drugs with one hand and cages their competition with the other. That's not right. It seems to me the government is acting no better than the mob in that aspect. It seems they are caging their competition. Everybody knows, everybody who knows Bo knows his peaceful nature. It's clear upon meeting him that he lacks even a single aggressive bone. The people who call themselves the government have done wrong by caging this peaceful man and harming him his friends, his family, his neighbors, and taxpayers by forcing him to stay in jail instead of simply letting him go. He hasn't hurt anyone, but the people who call themselves the government have hurt him by taking him as their prisoner and threatening to keep him in a cage for seven years. They are yet again aggressing against a peaceful person. Well, I'm here to remind the people who call themselves the government that this aggression will not stand, ma'am. His next day in court will be November 10th, where he is expected to have a probable cause hearing. If you'd like to visit him, he has allowed visitors from 8.30 to noon, 1 to 3.30, 5 to 9. No victim, no crime. Free bow. Free Free all peaceful people! I just want to sing. That's I think the I liquor know. store is the place to go. Yeah. We're going to the liquor store in a sec. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, we have some people who want to march down to the liquor store and uh, sing them some uh, anti prohibition Christmas carols. I don't know how many of y'all are up for it, but if you are, I guess we're going this way. Marijuana has never killed anyone. Marijuana enforcement kills a thousand a year. They might kick down the wrong door. They might kick down your door. They do it all the time. Right. You guys have to leave.